So hello and welcome. I'm Frederick Dunn and today I have a problem. Look at my field here. This is goldenrod and the goldenrod is about to bloom, but I've noticed that they have a problem. They're being attacked. They're being attacked by tiny aphids. Aphids are everywhere. Now, I'm always excited when I see a ladybug come and get an aphid and we have ladybugs out here. This is the state of Pennsylvania, but my honeybees are going to need the bloom and the nectar and the pollen from this goldenrod and the aphids are in the way of that. Look at them, they're all ages here. That's right, I'm gonna take care of them with what else? Ladybugs. Ladybugs are the best way to take care of aphids and here's why. This covers acres of land, by the way. So I bought some ladybugs, native ladybugs, by the way, to the United States. There are a bunch of different species, so it's important to get the good ones. And as you can see here, I cut open the bag and released them so that these aphids could see their last day on my goldenrod and other plants. Obviously, they go after your garden plants too, so ladybugs can fly. They're going to go everywhere the aphids are. There's a lot of cool stuff here. Now that ladybug has already grabbed an aphid. Look at her. She wasted no time. I released these ladybugs right about 7 o'clock at night. A little windy, made it hard to make the video. But I want you to know that these ladybugs will, of course, reproduce. They do their mating in the spring, and since it's July already, they've already been mated. But the good news is they carry their eggs with them, and they'll be laying their eggs on the underside of leaves. So these ladybug adults that live about a year will be munching up to 50 aphids a day apiece. But it gets better than that, because when they lay their little yellow-colored eggs on the underside of the leaves and those hatch out in less than two weeks, they uh, will also come out and feed on aphids and there are other ways to control aphids but I prefer this one and the reason is look at after how active the ladybugs are they go everywhere they're gonna spread out how many did I turn loose 3,000 now that's a tiny number of ladybugs but look at all these aphids have a big problem so here's the thing the ladybugs will reproduce the number of eggs that they lay will be in concert with the amount of resources and food for their offspring. And so they'll rise and fall with the number of aphids and things like that that ladybugs eat. And lacewings and other things also eat aphids. But as you can see here, by the number of aphids that are on my goldenrod and other plants, whatever's out here now is not controlling them. And I don't use pesticides. I haven't on this property since the year 2000. So I count on natural controls and I had to bring these in. So if you want to know where and how you can get your own ladybugs if you need them, I put a link down in the video description. And then you can release ladybugs and let them control your aphids too. Look at these. This goldenrod plant is basically ruined. They are sucking away at all the nutrition that's necessary for the blossoms, which the honeybees and other pollinators need. So I took those little bags and I tied them to the goldenrod that most of the aphids were on. And of course overnight these ladybugs spread everywhere. Look, almost every ladybug in this image has its own aphid. That's good news. And the aphids are just sitting there waiting. They don't know what to do. How can an aphid go from plant to plant? Well, if you notice, some of these aphids have wings. And that's how they get around. In other words, when they're on a plant that starts to become exhausted and its resources are reduced, these uh, aphids will actually produce offspring that have wings and then the ones with wings will fly to other plants and then they'll start their other aphid colony on those plants too. So it's only fair that we put out predators of the aphids that also have wings and can follow them around. Guess what ladybugs do? They leave a pheromone on the plant after they've munched up all the aphids, look at that one just eating away on that aphid. Sorry, the wind was blowing. And uh, they leave their own pheromones. And then so the aphids, when they find plants that have ladybug pheromone on them, they avoid those plants too. So I understand people that raise roses and things like that have problems with aphids. I'm a big fan of biological control over chemical control. So if you're dusting, if you're one of those people that uses seven dust and all these other things, please reconsider because the only chemical that these ladybugs will leave behind is the pheromone that reduces the aphid appeal. 
That's good news. This little ape is just waiting to be eaten. Oh, that's terrible. Look at that ladybug right there. She's got an aphid and is eating it. Here's a bunch of aphids on another one. How many times can I say aphid? But I wanted to show you, look at that, look at the wings on these. The ones with wings can detach from the plant and fly to another one. And as I mentioned before, you ever see a ladybug open its wings? They flip up that outer shell and then their wings are folded and they flip out and off they go. And then they can follow the aphids to new plants and then they can chew them up. I took a pen light out here and tried to light these up a little better. Look at all the little flight capable aphids here. Not good. Now they think they're not noticed, but they are. It's only a matter of time before the ladybugs discover them too. And they'll start getting munched. Oh, there goes the ladybug in the background. That's not good news. It's like sharks circling. And there they go. Before you know it, ladybugs are all over these plants. I thought it would be interesting to show how the ladybugs move around, how they find the aphids. And there's one just grabbed an aphid right off the side and is eating it. So if you establish ladybugs in your area, hopefully you will stop. If you currently do use pesticides, you'll stop doing that. And instead, you'll add ladybugs to your environment. They will winter over in sheltered places, humus, under bark, and things like that. And then in spring, a whole new generation of ladybugs will begin again, and they will reproduce based on food availability. And you'll have your own biological control of aphids. Look how thorough they are. When you spray oils and things like that, you don't get the underside of the leaves and the hiding places and the stuff that's in the ground and under leaves and things like that. All the places ladybugs will go just for you. All right, they're doing it for themselves because they're hungry. Look, that one's got an aphid right there. A little aphid. There's a bigger aphid walking on the ladybug and then it lost its grip and fell down. Look at this. This is a feeding frenzy. Every ladybug gets an aphid. They're running a special on this goldenrod plant. Come and get your aphids. That one's got one and you get an aphid and you get an aphid. They all get aphids. What do I have against aphids? Nothing except that they're damaging my plants. And as I mentioned before, I have a preference for honeybees and pollinators, and I want them to be able to get maximum nutrition from this goldenrod because that's the next big nectar flow that's coming out. Look at that one. That little aphid looks like it must have left the main stalk of the goldenrod and tried to escape on that leaf, and then it was tracked down by a ladybug and captured. The ladybugs are spreading out. And that one's got, oh good, it got one of the ones that has the wings on it before it can fly away. I took other video this morning, even, just at sunrise while everything was wet with dew. And uh, the aphids were spread out, and so were the ladybugs. And some of the aphids that I thought were still alive weren't. They were just dried out and hulls laying there. So I guess the ladybugs don't completely chew up and digest the entire aphid. I'm not sure how they're eating them completely. If they're sucking their insides out, um, I don't see a lot of chewing action, and I didn't get close enough to see. But they do leave the feet and the head and things like that behind. So you'll see little black residue of what used to be a fully developed aphid. Here's more with the wings. Their days are numbered. Look at these ladybugs just covering the ground. So I hope you found this interesting. Uh, your ladybugs will go everywhere. Release them near the end of the day. And then uh, before you know it, you've got your own aphid control. And as I mentioned, I came back this morning and I was having a hard time finding living aphids. And these ladybugs, of course, will reproduce and you'll have generations to look forward to in the spring. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.